Shit, someone's in the tunnel. What? Here, hop off. What are we doing? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? I see one giant light, but I can't tell. There we go. Who's next? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's hard to see where. Let's get back here. Um. Yeah, maybe it's not the best idea to get so close. I don't have a sight on their head. There we go. Okay. Shit, almost out. One shot left. Stay here, find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? Crap. Oh, hello. Shot! Sorry, buddy. When you have the light shining, it's hard to see where their head is. Come on. Okay. Need this more than you. Oh, shit. I thought that was someone's head. It really is hard to see. We go. Lisa! Kid! Come on out, it's safe! Let's grab their ammo and such first before we go back to the bike. There we go. Now let's get back to the bike and get back to Tucker. Wait, wait. I can open these? Ooh, probably a medkin here. We did use a few on the rippers and the bear, so I can use this. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you for the shot off shotgun. Let's go on back. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, you'll be kind of safe, but also not really. To be fair, there's nowhere that's going to be safe in a world like this. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that. No. Men came and took everything. Men! Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Oh. Labs, food, water, guns, you know. Smart. Stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? Yeah, that could prove be he helpful. He wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. They're definitely not. Sorry to tell you. And the chance of them even being alive is low, let alone come back for you. Sorry to say. All right, this is it. We're here, so just stay with me. I've seen it before. Okay. Okay, made it back.
we'll also got some stuff to sell. Hope we get a new gun or something from this. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker? Oh my god. Whoa. Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad and everyone got sick and I didn't know what to do and men came and people shh, had shh, shh. sick and it's okay. You're safe now. Okay, I guess they know each other. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. They're already dead. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. She's probably not too happy about the lie we said, but go see Alki. Still, I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about easy? how? No, I'm gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work here like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <sighs> <laughs> she makes a good point. Don't get soft on me. She raises a bit of a good point there. We're not a member of her camp. We're just a drifter. Okay. We still have that one nest we need to find over there. <laughs> well, let's see. Got okay. anything new for us? You need something? Anything new for us? Uh, apparently, no. Hmm. Great. Can well, it's we're fuel on our ammo. Thanks. What else can I do for you? That's about it for now. Thank you. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. Okay, ammo's looking good now. Good. Later. Let's go check on the other stuff. The bounty and mechanic. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Hey, me again. We going to get an air flashback? Says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. Asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. You got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? Probably is enough for a third degree burn. Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, the son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank? that you had painted for me. Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as I get it back together, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. You know, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again, you know? At least you got to say your goodbyes. New objective, of course, another one. People are getting so many missions. Okay. Well, it's hard to make contact one. But man, we got so many storylines and missions. I mean, we finished up Leon's at the very least. 
But most of these are still in the lower numbers. Well, I guess for now, um, what was I going to do? Head on over, try and do the last nest for that. Hey, Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred, so, uh, I mean, more, please? What else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John, and I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. No, I hear you. Uh, okay. okay. As you wish. All right, Limbo, where you at? I'm starting to wish I did have a silencer. Stop by the hot springs, have a little fun. Is that it? Keep coming out. He's got to be up on that tower. Yeah, I see him. Man, I really need more ammo. Don't just stay still to try and reload, buddy. Yes, but I was aiming for your head. He's in these Man, it's hard to see her. There we go. Okay, I think Limbo's the last one. I cannot get a clean shot. What I done to Bowman and Hewitt? Well, that's nothing to Ooh, that kit. Do to Thank me. you. He's hiding over there. Yeah, yeah hiding's not going to work. Okay, get back my rifle ammo. Yeah, buddy. No, I'll stuck with the rifle. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah? Old iron tooth? Well, he's down. Ah, crap. Right 
Come on. Did you just... <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. You don't need these. Yep, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's get back to our bike so we can... Can I take it for fuel? Actually, let me grab what I can from here first before I go out. Especially to have a canister somewhere. Aha! Sledgehammer, I'll take that, because I think, how much durability? 40%? Yeah, that's all that's left of the axe, so I'll take the hammer for now. I think that's it. Okay, we'll take the gas can back over to the bike, and we're going out. We'll head back to Tucker. Get our ward, maybe get whatever we need. Hopefully we'll reach level 2, so it gets ourselves some new items. Of a bitch. Yep. Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Yep, we uh, <laughs> shot him back to head using a shotgun. Steak, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. Thank you. Know. I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits. Thank you. Level two yet? Oh, come on. So close. Still. New objective, drive to location. It's a rifle, not a gun. What? Oh. Yeah, to learn track deer with Copeland. We'll probably do that one next, then uh, to make contact one. Because we still can't do checkpoints, and these the stations are hard just to try and find them. Same with a camp. First, let's restock on our ammo supplies. Hey, what's going on? You need something? You feel on everything. Need anything else? Good choice. Thank you. Okay. I don't think we have any animals, except maybe like one wolf. We could probably sell a bit to the kitchen, but we have been on the swarmer bounty. We did take out quite a few of them. How's life in the shit? How's it going? Yeah, new? including two newts. Let's sell those. <sighs> Keeping the world safe. One dead freak at a time. That's it. Refill the bikes and we'll head on over to Copeland. Uh, just having a look. Thank you. Okay. Blocked by infestation. Are you kidding me? We'll go past infestation, then we'll Need to fast it. travel over there. Actually, it seems like going the wrong way. Open the gate. Thank you. Let's go round and meet up with Copeland. Trying to do whatever we can to help out the two groups. Because, well, Copeland, he has all the stuff to help us for our bike. And Tucker has the guns. I took a wrong turn. Well, I'll just take a detour up here. Here we go. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain, Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is to track it. You gotta focus and see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. I'm still guessing a freaker did that scratch to his face and his ear, which means that scratchings don't turn you to a freaker. Okay, so that's good news. Well. Okay, we see his footprints. 
Just got apologies. Oh, uh, I think I see some droppings. Yep. Look hard. Yeah, it's yeah, some droppings. Skin. It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. I lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Oh, I see him. There's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the tenth mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yes, I know how to use a scope. Grab it. I'm holding square. Okay. Yeah, cope. I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Well, let's see if he pokes his head up, or else we're just going to shoot him an ass. Got it. Come on, come on, come on. How did that not? That was a headshot. Hold up, hold up, hold up now. Hold up. wasn't a kill shot. He got away. What do you mean, was a kill shot? That was a headshot. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. Huh? Okay. I'm no deer expert, but I'm pretty sure you shoot a deer in the head, they go down. See the blood spots? I swear that was a headshot. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. All off the tracks. Oh wait, there it is. Carcass. Oh, that is Any so time. hard to see. Yeah, I'll just follow the mini map. It was a kill shot. You know how to gut an animal? We know that. Yeah. Even I know that. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. To be fair, it does look like you're wasting quite a bit of meat there. Wait, was that the entire mission? Just a quick little hunting trip? <laughs> now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Deke. We can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. To be fair, venison would be helpful anywhere in this kind of situation. Venison's good meat to have. That was the entire mission. That entire mission was just... Wait, okay. <laughs> it was! It was just to do that? Okay, well... That was the entire purpose of the mission. Well, let's fast travel over to Tucker. We'll use up a few gallons on the bike, but we easily just refill it back up. <laughs> that was the entirety of that one mission was just that little small hunting trip. <laughs> of course. Oh, wait. Got blue. Question mark. How's it going, booze man? I'm fine, God damn it. Hey, ah, the marker went away. Supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, Is there anything in it's here? Been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah. You, uh, you remember what you're doing? <sighs> yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers. Believe it or not. Cope? Shit, I don't believe it. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. See you, booze man. Okay, one of them's nearby. Hello there. Goodbye. Damn it, so close. This is Radio Free Oregon. Ah, not now, full blend. I'm listening out. shut the hell up. There's more of them. I hear them. Okay, what do you got for us? Deke, uh, I, I need you to go after someone. 
go another bounty someone. okay what's going on right after you brought in that girl lisa larson brings in another one name was rose allen a weak little thing but we figured she could pull her own weight help us get this irrigation ditch done uh, okay so what do you what do you need she's gone she went on a supply run with alki some others up to that abandoned nero refugee camp you know the one oh. right? i think you've been up there before yeah I yeah, yeah, I know the one. The one Sarah died at, or one of the other ones? There's been a bunch of drifters and squatters spotted up that way. If if they find her first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, well first, before I do that, let's check out the shop. See if we got anything new we can get. We do have level two. Oh wait, says new items. Okay, what you got? Oh yeah, we got new stuff here. Okay. MWS. Okay, Stinger, not bad. Home action, not bad. A sort off shotgun, it's not the worst thing to have, but for the secondary, I think I'd rather stick with a pistol. It's kind of easy doing headshots with it. At least I've gotten better at it. Stinger has a bit more on the range side than MWS, but MWS definitely has... Let's let's go to MWS. That's a good one. Thank you. But the thing I kind of want the most is the LMG. I feel like this could actually probably be one of the most helpful ones, especially against hordes of enemies. Large ammo capacity. I mean, might not have the most amount of damage, but the rate of fire and anything else, I think it proved to be very helpful. Okay, we got our ammos. I don't really need any suppressors. I think we're good on our mechs. Okay, sure. Thank you, man. See you later, man. Okay, so how far away is... Which checkpoint is it? Oh, we gotta be careful. Additional storylines protecting the weak. Wait, what additional storylines? Protecting the weak. That is not one that I have. Okay. There's also this uh, research site by... Can't seem to go there yet. I think I need nitro or something for the bike, or at least just a bit more speed. Um, I hear someone. Rose? Is someone Rose alive out. up here? Hey. No. no! Hey, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. See, I'm uh, not with those assholes. No! no. God damn it, I'm here to help. Tucker sent me. Wait, wait, I said that I am here to help you. No, you're with her. You're from the work camp. No, no, I'm with Tucker. I, uh, I, I do runs for, yeah. They starved me. I wouldn't follow her orders, so they wouldn't feed me. Well, I mean, it's a work camp. I mean, everyone's got to work. I mean, yeah. I'm not going back, do you hear me? I'd rather yeah. die out here. Okay. Well, good luck with that. God damn Go on. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, yeah, Tucker will put you to work, but she has food, water, guns, resources. I mean, if I need to dig holes for her, I would if I needed to. Not bad. Ah, crap. And they're back. Yeah, we still are not ready to take on a horde. And my bike is well down there. Or I could probably sneak around one of these corners trying to see if I can shimmy, shimmy my way down there. As long as the horde stays bitty, bi busy, if we don't get noticed by them, we'll be fine. So wait, do I just return to Tucker now, or? Oh, we need to find meat for Boozer. Where exactly? All the way over here near Copeland's camp. Well, I guess we can also do the research site that's over there. Let's head on down. Let's go over to Copeland. We'll go over to the research site and get the meat for Boozer. Shouldn't be too difficult. At least getting the meat part. The research site, that'll probably be a bit more tougher. For a second, I thought I was a regular enemy. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, the horde is still over there, just... I don't think I'm gonna make it through that. Let's see if I can... Uh, maybe this one? Are you kidding me? That's not that... Uh, huh? Okay. That fall was... Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Seriously, I swear that fall is not that bad. Tucker, the worst is maybe spraining your ankle, Tucker, but still. He can say John to... He can say John to Ada Tucker. Deke, did you find her? Uh, yeah. Tia Tuck, I found her and... Uh, she's on her way back. Wait, you let her go? Alone? Well, she took one of the squatter's bikes. She said that she was gonna be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want my help. Ah, oh, God damn it, Deke. You should have brought her in. Well, why, Talk? Why? Is there something wrong? I mean, is there some reason she didn't want to come back? <sighs> no, no, of course not. It's just. Oh, don't tell me I got noticed. <laughs> Yeah, gotta run for a bike. We just gotta run for the bike and just hightail it. Try and get out before the horde gets to us. Try and find a small area with no enemies if I can find one. Wait, what is the other marker for? I have two markers. Why do I have two markers? Okay, well, gone now. I was about to make that jump, and then I realized last minute that's a cliff. Here we go. I do hope we get to get some more upgrades soon for the bike. Which is probably why we should really start just saving up the credits for Copeland's camp. Because he's the one with all the bike upgrades. Mass grave. Yeah, no horde of enemies though, so that's good. Because I have noticed all these like mass grave areas, because like the third one we've seen, they at least have a horde with them. At least they usually do. O'Brien. This is gonna be it. Sorry, immune from your attacks. Yeah. We have to follow O'Brien. This is gonna be difficult. Stealth is still not exactly my specialty, but can we do what we have? Um, I actually don't see much foliage I can use for. Okay. Guess I can hide behind the log. Hey, Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, we have been over it. How long are we going to be here? It takes a I thought I saw something in our garage. I'm going to check it out. Yeah? It's probably nothing. Fresh carry, maybe. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant, don't become carry on yourself. Ooh. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Um, buddy, do you mind, um... Size of the swarm, recent carry is indicated. Should be 
just over here. Damn it, where is it? Ah, here it is. I don't know what a carrion is, but okay. Front O'Brien? Uh, there's still a guard, like right there to right. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, O'Brien. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub, sub, d, d, civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. I don't think we really? care, O'Brien. See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yep. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes, I am. How? How are you alive, O'Brien? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay, you were there that night. Farewell. The next time, the Nero camp, Protocol 2 7 states. I, we don't care about your protocols. I slaughtered, torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I so you do remember. The Good. The camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. Wait, is there a chance Sarah's alive? Radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. So just a chance, okay. Sarah's alive. Oh, I have to go. Please. Uh, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Interesting. That whole conversation gave a lot there. There's a chance Sarah might be alive, but also gave a little bit of information. One thing was they mentioned contaminated air. I had I didn't even think about this, but we don't actually know what kind of virus we're dealing with. I was expecting I was kinda of suspecting this might be like a Romero or a Walker type of virus. Like you see in Walking Dead or a Night Living Dead movie where it's like bites or scratches. Well, you know, scratches aren't the case because if it was, then Copeland would already be a freaker. We don't know about bites. But now there might be a chance it might be airborne. But the thing is, if it was airborne, then I feel like there'd be a lot more people infected because most airborne related zombie viruses tend to be some of the worst ones like Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. That's an airborne virus. I mean, the characters you play as are just immune to it. <laughs> so the only few people who are immune to it. Don't know. Oh, Brian, oh, Brian. 
he's alive. It's got me curious about it. Is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't going to make it, but he got her to a mash unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. So there's a chance she could she still be alive. She, no, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. And if he is, then maybe... You gotta have some hope, man. I mean, for a long time you believed she died at that camp, but apparently they didn't even go to the camp. The place had already gone overrun by the time they were heading over there. You there? So they went to a different Good one. Man. A few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, Boozer. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. Okay. First, I want to go ahead and try and do this little infestation zone. But yeah, that one conversation gave us quite a good bit of information there. My best guess is that this is some form of an airborne virus or normal bites you turn type of thing. But we won't know because we haven't actually seen anyone get turned. We know scratches don't turn you. Back to me. Ah! What the? Uh. Okay, don't really know what all happened there. My best guess is most likely bites turn you more than the air itself. O'Brien. Remember us, Sarah. What happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened. Like, she's still alive. No. No. Look, I'm not stupid. Either. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her, where she died. Hey, maybe you can find that. Find some what? I don't need to oh, pardon me. I, I gotta go. All right, peeking out. Okay, why is the circle blue? 